<clears throat> okay. Apologies for the video being like this. This is my first one I've ever done of these things. Uh, had a lot of requests that I share this information. And so here we go. I'm going to try to make this work for you. Um, what I have here is just a standard uh, Aries backpack. It's just a day pack. Um, we use it uh, for day operations, go out with MRE, radio, water, uh, just for search and rescue type stuff. So what I, the problem I was having was I have my D72A Kenwood and the problem that I couldn't, I couldn't find a suitable case anywhere for it that would protect it. It would keep me from accidentally keying the mic as uh, most of you who have this radio know that it's real easy to key the mic up and it happens a lot on accident. If it gets thrown in my pack and it keys the mic up, a lot of times I don't know about it. So that was a major problem I wanted to address with the case that I made, um, getting the pressure off that button. Also needed it to have enough room in the case for the external speaker mic connection. And I wanted the case to be tight enough where it wasn't rattling around in there. Um, you know, jarring it, we, get, we have a lot of impacts that happen. A lot of times we are laying on the pack and doing different things with the pack. And I just, after making that much of an investment for a small uh, radio, I didn't want to do any damage to it. And I also wanted to keep some of the weather off of it, dust, um, water, and things of that nature. Well, after searching and searching and searching, couldn't find what I was looking for. So I just decided, you know what, I'm going to have to make this thing. Uh, what you see here, this is the actual case for it. Um, some of y'all might recognize it as an optics case, military optics case. Uh, here's one empty. You can pick these up brand new, probably for 20 or 30 bucks on uh, eBay. You can get them at Army Navy stores used and places online for maybe 10 bucks. It's got Molly webbing here on the back. Um, it's already padded because it's made to carry a, a weapons sights and weapons optics so it has some inherent padding in it and it's got this weatherproofing um, I don't know what kind of chemicals or whatever they use for the fabric but it weatherproofs it and it comes down the flap over and locks like that well the D72 radio is going to do a lot of rattling around in that that particular case Pull it out here. So you can see here's my D72. There's the case by itself. If you can see that. A lot of rattling around going on. So the solution I found was to probably get some kind of a neoprene type material. That's the kind of stuff that you normally see in a uh, diving suits and what have you and create sort of an inner shell that would slide down into this case that would resolve the rattling around and still give me enough room on the sides to protect the the push to talk button and also uh, give me room for the speaker mic connection uh, what I found was these neoprene sheets I got this at Michael's uh, this is 9 inches by 12 inches and I don't know probably quarter of an inch uh, thick but you can see it's really squishy but it's got a firmness to it also these are like 99 cents at Michaels and they come in all kinds of colors obviously I chose black um, so what I did was I started taking measurements of the device and as I was putting this thing together I um, started this design here is a locking mechanism for the radio so you see when the radio slides in it actually grabs hold of that and it sits in there really nicely and really firm and tight but see with it locking it will not let go so that I'm not even holding it the radio is not going to slip out of there it doesn't rattle around you're probably wondering what this cord is here. This is so I can get it out without having to pull on the antenna. I uh, created a little cord there, so 
pulling it out, I can just grab a hold of that and don't have to grab the antenna connections. Um, at the base of it, let me see if I can get a light in here. Um, it's curved. And the reason I did that was to create a suspension type system where it any impacts are are uh, taken here at the corners. And there, this curvature in the design helps give it a little shock absorption. And so whenever I hit the bottom and corners and stuff, it's not hitting the radio. It's absorbing that into the, the framework of this uh, neoprene type material. Um, and uh, I double layered it. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, uh, just to give it a little bit extra protection. And the, the actual radio rides on its corners instead of riding on the base or on the sides because of the curvature that I have in here. Uh, I sliced these angles here to make the radio easy to get in and out. I don't know if you can see that here. And then I left spaces there for the, the actual buttons so that they're not getting activated. You can see the cutout for that also. Um, I don't have any measurements. I didn't take any measurements, so you'll have to do all the measuring of your radio yourself. I'm just showing you the design and the thoughts that went in, into the design. Um, initially, I had a different design in mind. That's how I ended up with this double area here cut uh, for the, um, the clip. The clip was originally up here for when I moved it down on the design to here. Um, this actually became a an accidental design that had a lot of benefit to it. So I left this up here on the final and didn't trim that off. And I'll show you how that works and why that's important. Uh, I'm going to slip the case down into the or the inner shell of this case down into the the optics case. And it's a really tight snug fit. There's this inner liner in there that gets in the way you gotta kind of push it out of the way to get it down in there and seated properly there we go okay now just shove that down in there okay so that's sitting in there really nice and snug and you can see down in there it's got padding from the case itself and then padding from the inner neoprene liner and I'll, I'll insert the radio in there show you what that looks like. The radio just slides right in and then as it gets down to where the clip of the radio is, get this up there. See it right there? You just squeeze the pouch and it locks onto it. That radio is not going anywhere. There's no sliding around whatsoever. You can rattle it around, you can turn it upside down, give it a good shake. The radio is in there rock solid. If you look on the sides, there is no contact being made with the buttons and there's plenty of room for the speaker mic connection. Okay? Now, you're thinking probably, well that's all great, but what about the antenna? How's the antenna going to stick up out of this thing? Well, I didn't design it for the antenna to stick up out of this thing. I wanted the pouch to be closed and not exposed to the elements. Uh, so what I did was I have on the pack here a separate area for the antenna. You can see there's this angle connector right here. Let's see if I can tighten down on that a little bit. That comes out of the radio. And then here is also the speaker mic connection for that. Okay. So, what happens is the speaker mic angles out and goes off this direction. Uh, I'm sorry, the antenna goes off this direction. The speaker mic also comes out of here and goes off this direction. And what this does, it allows me to wrap these back down and tuck them into the front face area of the radio like so and these two arches now that was an accidental design actually keeps the pressure off of the antenna connector with an, ar with an arch type support system 
Now, another good part of it being this design is this cutout here allows me to pop the radio, uh, pop this open, and I can manipulate the radio knob with my fingers. If this cutout wasn't here, I wouldn't be able to do that. You can see I can reach in here, just give it a quick little adjustment to make any quick little change volume or channel wise without having to pull the whole radio all out again. And with these tucked in like this, this can fold forward providing even more durability and support and keeping the pressure off of the antenna connector and it locks down like this and now it's protected from the elements, it's protected from banging up the antenna connector and the radio inside is completely protected. No worries, it's not going to do any damage to it. And when I want to get the radio back out again, it will not pull out of here unless I press on the back of the pouch to unlock it and then slip it out. Just like that. Now as far as the backpack setup goes, um, of course I've got the connectors here and I'm running the, the cabling. You'll see I'm running the cabling across here in this area that's not going to be exposed. And it actually fits pretty tightly in here. And I run, the run that cabling through the molly, back down through here and loop it into a PVC pipe that I've painted black. And it comes out here, and right here is where my antenna connects. Which is great because it keeps the antenna up high. Let's see if I can roll this up. It keeps the antenna up high, uh, and that way I don't have to continuously raise my hand if I'm trying to get a better signal. It's always going to be up uh, above my head. Um, all the time. Just a little whip antenna. Uh, I store it inside here when I'm not using it because obviously I don't want that thing on all the time. Um, inside here is another PVC pipe to protect the antenna from getting banged up by the contents inside the, uh, the pack. I just pull it out when I want to use it. I've got BNC connectors here so I just pop it right on. It's good to go. see the pack there. Um, another thing I got is this BNC connector. Um, highly recommend it on the uh, the radio. You can probably see it here. Uh, it has a rubber washer. You can get it at Ham City. I prefer the black just because you know all our stuff is either black or or wood colors or earth colors. And so put that on there and if I ever need to get the radio out and use it um, outside of the pouch I can just pop the antenna off here and just stick it straight on the radio and uh, now we're using it again like it was intended to be used uh, by the manufacturer maybe on a belt clip or you know carrying around your pocket whatever you decide to do so anyway that's that was my solution for protecting this thing and um, I actually ended up since Molly is kind of hard to get on and off all the time I left this one on the pack and I made a second one here um, the, this is actually the first design of this uh, system and uh, just to let you know that the second one I did I brought these walls on the sides up a little bit higher just for added protection and um, put the whole thing together with wood glue uh, Elmer's wood glue I found that this pretty much bonded it um, you can rip it apart but it's pretty hard to uh, once this wood glue sets into these neoprene because it's kind of porous it locks on pretty good. And the only reason I used uh, duct tape was just to hold it in place while the, while the glue dried. Um, but once you get it inside the pouch, it's, all this stuff's not going anywhere. Alright, so that's it. Now you know.